So the Girls Math Science Day is really a day when we try to give um, all the girls who attend a broad introduction to different areas of science, but not just by talking to them, by letting them do things hands-on. They go to a number of different, you could say, stations or labs where they learn a little bit about a particular field and then they get to do some model building or some experiments, they get to ask questions. It really gives them a taste of what kinds of things they might do in a course that they would take later on and what kinds of questions different careers are trying to answer. And uh, I think it really sparks their imagination as to what, what path they could follow. At a very young age, I knew that I liked math. In fact, I would, I would go to um, summer camps willingly that just looked at math. And I, I actually didn't know what I was going to do with that, but it really was teachers that took an interest in me and actually pointed me to a high school program um, designed just for girls. And this is when I was in ninth grade, I think. And so I came to Michigan State at a program just for girls interested in science, and I saw female scientists looking at electron microscopes or working with the cyclotron. Programs uh, for girls around math and science or, or women in science and leadership are just outstanding. It gives the girls a place to go and to see that there are other girls interested in the same sorts of things and they can talk about it, what they want to do, where they want to go. Um, it can build, be an opportunity to build a community of girls with similar interests and I think that's extremely important. Did you have fun today? What uh, was your favorite activity? Probably sharing this carry the one with insects because I really liked being like able to hold them and also like it was interesting. I like the pie one because you got to blow a balloon. I did stuff with bugs where you got to learn about bugs and how they work together. The one with the veterinarian What does heartbeat sound like? It's like, I don't know, it's not like it's like really fast. I am kind of a fan of person. Do you think maybe you want to become a veterinarian one day? of uh, biological sciences, um, at least in my experiences, I have not noticed that there is a, a, a change in, in, in girls. There's probably equal representation of girls and boys in the sciences up until about college level. And then there seems to be a drop in the number of, of girls that, that continue on. You know, it's really important to give girls exposure to science and math early on because the research shows that while girls do tend to take science and math classes through high school, they tend not to go into science and math majors in college. And part of that is they're not really familiar with what you can do with a science or math major, what kind of career you would go into, because people don't always tell them, and there aren't a lot of women scientists around for them to meet. So giving them that exposure earlier can give them ideas of wanting to become a scientist. Well, I think also maybe they think it's too difficult that that they're going to get into it and then not be able to do well, uh, which isn't true. Once they get into it, they, women tend to do really well. Oh, that's good. Okay. Sure so try going for that empty one. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. I don't even need to teach you how to do this. You just have to do it. That's perfect. <laughs> And it could also be family life. You know, there are a lot of traditional families out there that um, still don't believe that you know a woman should be a physicist or a woman should be an engineer. So it's gradually changing, and it takes time. Progress is very slow. Um, we're fighting some large cultural stereotypes and barriers, and uh, changing people's attitudes and perceptions and expectations takes a long time. We need female representation in math and science because men don't have a monopoly on the best ideas in mathematics, science, or in any field. And if we don't have women uh, involved in these fields, we're losing uh, the talent that they represent. Women tend to think about things a little differently than men do. Women approach problems from a different perspective than men do. And having that combination of men and women together makes for a really robust team when you're looking at industry or even in research, coming at the problem from different tactics with different thought processes. Since half the population is female, what a waste not to be having half the talented people be involved in science and math. We get to choose, right? 
right? So you're not forced to go into math and science, but at the same time, if you're good at this and you enjoy doing this, please feel like that door is open or push that door open. Pursue those things that interest you, those things that excite you. I hope that the Girls Math and Science Day at Michigan State University continues and expands and continues to draw uh, bright young people to campus and uh, to fields in, uh, uh, in the sciences and in engineering. Such a great opportunity for the students. The activities of the day really vary. Some of us have them do model building or try some little tabletop experiments and talking about what they mean. Some take them into the lab and have them uh, use some fancy equipment to analyze compounds. I think there was one where they're um, creating and then analyzing some compounds related to makeup. So it's taking an everyday kind of product that they might encounter, but then learning some of the science behind it. There are others where I think they end up studying animals, for example. And so there's a, a tremendous variety, but it's all very hands-on, so that one is doing something and not just listening. I made little like clay brains and we got to see them and I made one for my sister and now I can slap them in the same she has a piece of brain. <laughs> I have lots of fun. This is my second time because I did it last year and I did it this year. Did you come to this event next year? Will you come next year? Open this again? Yeah. Alright, would you recommend it to other people to come out to go to my Yeah.